New developments as a new panel organized today will now review why Metro officers felt they did not have enough evidence to do more when they visited Anthony Warner's home in 2019. The five member panel will hear from each officer who visited the home. This comes after the incident report first uncovered by News Channel 5 investigates showed Warner's girlfriend and his attorney claimed that Warner was making bombs. Officers couldn't find Warner at home on a couple of days. They later claimed they did not have enough probable cause to search his home and that their actions were in line with department policy. Members of this panel say they need more details to see if a policy change is necessary. Knowing that was uh, a little unsettling and uh, I'd like to find out uh, in during this process if there was something that we could have done uh, that could avoid it this. So Metro Police say the focus of this review will only be on what happened in August 2019 and not the bombing. And we're still learning new details about the police department investigation into the main suspect in the Christmas bombing. Now, one Metro Council member just submitted several questions to the department, and he says the responses raise even more questions. He shares some of those concerns with investigative reporter Ben Hall. I want to know whether more should have been done. Metro Councilman at large Bob Mendez had a list of questions for Metro Police about the Christmas bombing investigation. It felt like we hadn't heard the whole story. Among his concerns, the police report from more than a year before the bombing, in which the suspect's girlfriend told police Anthony Warner was building bombs in the RV trailer of his residence. Police went to Warner's house, saw the RV, but never talked to him. Police officers laid eyeballs on the RV that blew up 2nd Avenue. They laid eyeballs on it. Like, there's fair questions that we should want to ask about that. A newly obtained Metro Police Department email shows the day after that report, on August 22nd of 2019, Officer Michael Pollard with the bomb squad told Sergeant John Bowes with the Specialized Investigations Division there was a matter of record report taken yesterday about a man that is supposed to be making explosives. It ends with guy's name is Anthony Warner. Police wrote to Mendez, officers feel confident an open source check was done on Warner, which would have come back negative due to his lack of online presence. I think there's a fair question of um, if the complaining party, the woman, the girlfriend had been different profile, whether, whether it would have been a different response. Police said nothing was done with the case after August of 2019, but the matter remained open until the day of the bombing. Clearly, after about a week, nothing more was done. Um, is that the right answer? Uh, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't think everybody's going to be really comfortable with that being the right answer. Mendez and wants a know, public review of all aspects of the bombing, including the fact the so many people were without phone service after the blast. I think there needs to be a unifying um, commission, committee, group, office, I don't know who. There needs to be some unifying look at everything. Mendez has questions about the review panel that was just announced by Metro Police to look into the matter. I started um, asking the administration yesterday about the possibility of a public commission to look into all the circumstances surrounding the, bo the bombing. And then this comes up the, a day later. Mendez says there needs to be a public review he plans to introduce a bill at the next Metro Council meeting that would collect feedback from all Metro departments. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, investigates. Thank you, Ben. And we have just learned that Mayor Cooper has extended the curfew for the bombing site that will remain in place now through 5 p.m. on Friday, January 15th.